So if we want an equation of a line that's tangent, then we want the instantaneous slope at pi over 4. Okay, so you want a derivative. So the derivative of secant is secant x tangent x from our text. And so that's the derivative. And if we want the slope of the tangent line, it means we want a slope at this instant. We want the slope at pi over 4. So I'll plug in. Oh, I wanted to redo. No. OK, that's good enough. So we want to plug in pi over 4 in for x. Okay, and you could use a calculator for these, but the non-calculator way of doing this, which every calc student should probably know, is to draw the angle pi over 4. It's a 45 degree angle. And make a right angle with the x-axis. And if you draw it in the unit circle, your hypotenuse is 1, which means these sides have to be square root of 2 over 2 and square root of 2 over 2. So secant is the reciprocal of cosine. That means it's the hypotenuse divided by the adjacent. So the hypotenuse divided by the adjacent, because this is your reference angle down here. So 1 divided by square root of 2 over 2, that's 2 over square root of 2. <clears throat> and uh, you, could, you, could get, uh, you could rationalize the denominator by multiplying the top and the bottom by square root of 2. Because right? if you multiply this by square root of 2 and this by square root of 2, you get the, the square root out of the denominator. So that's what we mean when we say rationalizing the denominator. So that gets you in the numerator, 2 squared root of 2, and the denominator, square root of 2 times square root of 2 makes 2. So these cancel out. So secant pi over 4 is square root of 2. And tangent pi over 4, tangent would be the opposite, divide by the adjacent. So that's 1. That one's nice and easy. So the slope is square root of 2 at pi over 4. Okay, but we need the equation of the tangent line. We just know what m is. We know y equals square root of 2x plus some b. To find out that y-intercept, we've got to plug in an x and a y-coordinate. We have the x-coordinate of pi over 4, but what's the y-coordinate? Don't plug pi over 4 back in here, right? We want the y-coordinate. So if you plug pi over 4 back into the original equation, secant pi over 4, we already found that out, is square root of 2. So this is a full point that we'd want to plug into this uh, into this equation to find out what b is. Plug in square root of 2 in for y and plug pi over 4 in for x. Okay, so pretty ugly, huh? We've got to get b by itself. So I want to subtract 2 square root of 2 pi over 4 from both sides. So that gives me square root of 2 subtracted by square root of 2 pi over 4 for our b. Uh, oh, I looked at the book to see how clean they make it, and I found out the book doesn't even use the exact answers. The book's using decimal approximation, so I guess we can do that. So the square root of 2 is this. If we multiply that times pi, divide that by 4, that's the second term. We want to subtract that from the square root of 2. So I got this for my b, a decimal approximation. I was doing all that work, and the book didn't even do it. OK, so the full equation, this was the equation with the slope plugged into it. Now we have a y-intercept. So this should be y equals square root of 2x plus 0 0.303. Or in other words, y equals what was square root of 2? 1.414. y equals 1.414x plus 0 0.303. That's the equation of the tangent line. And so this might be the first time encountering the word normal in calculus. It means something different in statistics. But the equation of a normal line just means it's perpendicular at the point. So let's say we have a curve that looks like this. And we want to know the equation of the normal line right here at x equals pi over 4. Well, this is the tangent line. The normal line is just this red line I'm about to draw. It's perpendicular. OK, so all you need to do is take this slope and uh, make it the negative reciprocal, right? Because that's what a perpendicular line is. So for my normal line, is y equals negative 1 over square root of 2x plus b. But since now I know that the book is just using decimals, let's convert negative 1 over square root of 2 into a decimal. 
So 1 divided by that decimal. So this is negative 0 0.707. And then we can plug in the same point, right? Because this hasn't changed. At pi over 4, the original graph crosses at square root of 2 on the y-axis. So we can plug in those numbers. 1.414 is the square root of 2. And then pi over 4, I don't know what that is. As a decimal. So an approximation would be 0 0.785. So we're plugging that in for x. And now you've got something to solve for b, right? So you get 0 0.707 times 0 0.785, 0 0.555 roughly. So subtract that from both sides. So 0 0.859. That's our b. And so you just plug that back in here for the equation of the normal line. Okay. Oh, actually, let me see. The book says I did something wrong. Oh, I dropped my negative sign right here. That should be a negative, so we should be adding that to both sides. So a little algebra mistake there. We want to add that to 1.414. So the y-intercept should actually be 1.97 roughly. Okay, there we go. We got it right now. Okay, so the equation of the normal line is the equation of the perpendicular line. So we'll do that again with this next one. Just a different equation. Okay, the first thing we want to know is the equation of the tangent line. So we want a derivative of this with respect to x. So that needs product rule, right? That's two different functions of x. So the derivative of the first function is 1 times the second function kept the same plus the first function times the derivative of the second function, which is negative sine of x. That's just the product rule. Okay? And then if we want to know the slope at x equals 3, sometimes I use this as shorthand notation. Plug in x equals 3 into the derivative. So you got cosine of 3 plus 3 times negative sine of 3. Um, I don't think there's any way of getting around decimals for this one. Um, the assumption would be radians, though. Okay, That 3 is in radians, unless they put a degree symbol on top of it. So I changed my calculator radians. I'm going to put 3 cosine. I got this. And then we got 3 times negative sine of 3. So 3 sine in radians. It's negative times 3, so I got negative 0 0.423, all that stuff. So add those together. I got negative 1.413 for the slope. Negative 1.413 for the slope. That's the slope at x equals 3. So the equation of the tangent line, it has that slope we just need to find the y-intercept. So that means we need a, pl a point to plug in. <clears throat> so we have the x-coordinate. We need the y-coordinate of the point. And you get that by just plugging 3 back in here because this is y equals x times cosine of x. So if you plug 3 in there and times that 3 on the outside, you get negative 2.96, so negative 2.97 roughly. That's the y-coordinate. So we want to find out the b. This is just algebra. This isn't calculus right now, right? We're just plugging in the y-coordinate to find out what the b is. We've already done the calculus part. That's finding the instantaneous slope using the derivative. So negative 2.97 equals negative 1.413 times 3. That's negative 4.239. And you want to add 4.239 to both sides. So you should get B equals 1.269. Okay, so that's the full equation if you put 1.269 in here. That's the equation of the tangent line. Now the reciprocal uh, is the normal 
uh, it's not sorry it's not the reciprocal I should say the perpendicular line is the normal line right it's the negative reciprocal so if I want the normal line I want y equals ne one uh, sorry it's negative one over negative four uh, negative one point four one three Okay, the negative reciprocal. So this slope was negative. My new, my slope and my perpendicular line better be positive, and it's the reciprocal as well. The negative reciprocal. So this is going to be the equation of the normal line. Okay, there's really no calculus for finding the normal line. It's just the perpendicular line of your tangent equation. So let's convert that to a decimal. One divided by one point four one three, that's zero point seven zero eight roughly. And then to find out what b is, we just plug in a point like before. We plug in 3 in for x, negative 2.97 in for y. Okay. So 3 in for x. So we got 0 0.708 times 3, that's 2.124. Then to get b by itself, you want to subtract that from both sides. So 2.97 is negative. We're subtracting that. So I got negative 5.094. Negative 5.094. So if you plug that in here for b, you've got your equation of the normal line. Okay. So the tangent line uh, has that instantaneous slope. You take a derivative and you plug in the coordinate to find that instantaneous slope. The normal line, it's just the negative reciprocal of your tangent line slope.